Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of our Let's Play Project Ozone 3 series. While I was off camera, I happened to run around the nether a little bit, trying to vein mine out a bunch of land so I could eat my Meef Stroganoff, and we did just that. We ate it. And while I was there, I also was able to find some of these lava crystals, this ore lava crystal... Uh, so we're just going to keep that and not make sure we don't run out of that. I was digging around for some of this, which I should probably pulverize instead of smelting like this, because I want to repair my pick. And as soon as we repair this pick, we are going to finish up the top half of the Twilight Forest here. We're definitely getting that done, because as soon as we can get that done... We are going to start finishing up Lordcraft here, which I can get this right now, actually. Four steel leaf, a crafting table, and an inscription tile will give us the Arcane Inscriber, which we need for a quest. We're going to throw that down right here, and I'm pretty sure what that does is it allows you to force... Uh, letters for your research right yeah you can find letters for your research like that which we're not super into right now so we're not super worried about it uh, I also took off my saturation ability so I could get hungry faster and now I would like to put that back on so I'm not so hungry all the time after making this inscribing table oh I need to grab Claim that, get our rack. We want to work on this Lord's Workbench, and in order to do this, we need Carmenite, which comes from the Twilight Forest as well. Flying back through the Twilight Forest, we know that there is a fire swamp right up over here, so we don't have to go too far to find a Hydra. But I'm pretty sure the Hydra is immune to ranged attacks, so we're going to have to be aware of that and make sure we're not trying to shoot it to death. There's a hollow hill right here, which I would like to check out later. I'm going a little slowly now. Let's speed up. The swamp right over here and the Hydra should be on the other side of this hill. If I remember correctly, usually, or is that just a hollow hill? Ah, it's just a hollow hill. No, this is a Hydra cave right here. Yeah, there it is. So I'm pretty certain. Oh, oh no. Oh, what happened to, what happened to my hover mode? Uh, shift A. Did I misclick that or did that happen? naturally let's go over here and smack it we gotta smack its body right it's been a while oh it is dying rather slowly get out of my face pal smack it in his belly smack it in his belly this is the sweet spot this is going to take ages. Can I? Yeah, it's immune to ranged attacks. Oh, oh, I died. Oh, no. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, whoo. Armor. Charm of keeping. It kept it on us. Okay, thank you. Uh, Where is my body? Where's my where's my death marker? Ooh, I need to rethink how I'm going to kill this thing. Okay, we're back. Let's rethink how we're going to go about this. It is not actually immune to ranged attacks. I was I was just wrong. Oh, I got to Oh, I got to be careful not to get hit by those and just back out back out uh it's not immune to ranged attacks i just want to be hitting it Ooh, i keep up 
I dropped my my super good. Oh, don't you destroy. Did you destroy my super good ranged weapon? I keep misclicking because I've changed up my keybinds. I really am upset about that. I should be able to knock back these explosions towards him. Yeah, there we go. Take it. I missed. Missed. Hmm. I'm really upset about my shuriken. Oh, don't. Don't stand in that. Did my shuriken really get destroyed? Is that serious? Aw, oh, man. I keep making that thing for just for it to die. And I had that one, like, max level. Alright, come on, pal. Just let me kill you. That's a good one. Avoid that. Uh, avoid that. You should do the, the shooty breath now, right? Yeah, come on, die, please. This is taking ages. Oh, you're the shooty breath. And you're fire. Get out of there. So, you know which one it is based on the smoke. He's going backwards. You're going to be the launchables. You're the launchables. But the more damage you do, the more heads he gets, and the fight gets crazier. So that's what we're worried about. Yeah, take it on like a ghast. I don't have a good enough sword to really... Well, that missed. Missed all of those. What a riveting fight, I know. How... How absolutely amazing. Those are all fire. Are you gonna be smoky? Are you gonna be smoky? You a smoky boy? You're a smoky boy, but you're going backwards. Fight my way, please. Aim my way. Smoky. 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 Yeah, that's big damage. Take it. Take it. Oh, Smokey. Oh, that head's dead. Now he's going to spawn two more. Fire. Don't stand in it like an idiot. Five. Roaring. Fire, 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 fire. You going to be a Smokey boy? Be a Smokey boy. Come on. Give me the smoke. You're backwards. Yeah. It's fire. Don't stand in it. With a jetpack, with my super good jetpack, everything has just become super trivial. <laughs> and kind of fire, fire. Smokey boy. Everything has become sort of too easy. I did die to this, though, and I did lose my shuriken to this, but that was just because I'm an idiot and not because this was remotely difficult. And he's done. Let's... Are you my night vision totem? Turn you back on. Grab all your stuff. Oh, shuriken. I will miss you. Luckily, I have the backup one back at the base, so it's not such a big deal. Are there any important ores that I want to mine out here? There's the Abyssal Craft ore. Corallium, let's grab you. Grab all those. Anything else that I want? Not really. Are there, is there any more Corallium around? Not really. Okay, and we are going to be back as soon as I go back home, get my shuriken, get it set up with Enderium. Ooh, the Abyssal Craft mobs are spawning there. And we will come back and take on the knights next. Well, I have traveled far and wide through this dark forest looking for this goblin stronghold. Oh, back off. And hopefully I found the right entrance here. 
Uh, oof. Lots of little ranged goblin guys. Okay, so this is less irritating, I think, than the Mushroom, the Minushroom Labyrinth. But it is very close quarters in here. And I might not be able to use my uh, my flying to the best of my abilities. Let's go ahead and do something like... Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not the right entrance, I think. I'm pretty sure I remember that being taller than that. There are false entrances to this place, I remember very clearly. Uh, not there. Well, do we, do we dare? Do we dare to dream here? I did find the Urgast Tower while I was looking for this. That is not where I want to be. This is not where I want to be. This is also not where I want to be. Maybe... Nope. Oh, here we go. This is what I want. You have to remember to bring the Hydra Trophy here or else you're just without luck. If you... It's the only place that requires, if I remember, a trophy. Knights. I can't remember any of the other ones that need it. And now, the fun begins. I am going to need... I miss my unlimited shuriken already. Uh, something is shooting at me. So this works much like the labyrinth. There is a section to go down right here we want to avoid these little guys and keep working our way to the bottom yes and there will be a bunch of these little cobalt jerks too fast. Too fast. Is this it already? I'm pretty sure this is the boss. Yeah, this is the boss already. Well, look at us. Look at us being so skilled and good. This boss... You gotta find the real phantom. Wait, do these phantoms have TNT? Are they also TNT mobs? One of these has a real body. Well, look at that. Easy peasy, done. Okie dokie. Harmonite acclamation. Wow. Finished. Let's gather up some of our ammo here. Check out what we got. Phantom plates. Knightly swords. The trophy. Phantom plate is good. And I know that in some of these, there are treasure chests. So I'm going to check and see if I can't find some treasure chests. I would also like to see if I can find some steel leaf. I know that you can find steel leaf in these uh, phantom mazes. I think. Ooh, there's the knight metal helm. Which is probably better than the armor we've got on, if we're being honest. What's through here? What's through this obsidian box? This is a treasure chamber. Let's go ahead and vein mine that out. 
don't remember at all. Nothing? Is it just nothing? Quickly, please. I hate obsidian. Yeah, okay. Well, cool. Let's just get out of here then. Mission accomplished. We broke into the goblin fortress and found the boss. And now we're gonna quickly get the heck out of here. There was this. And then it was over here. There's some more living root I would like to take. But no matter. Whoop. Shift A. Thank you. And now we just hightail it out of this place. Do I go straight to the Urgas? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Should I go straight for the Urgas Tower? Should I? What's my inventory look like? Garbage. Okay, I gotta empty my inventory and then we'll go to the Urgas Tower. Here is our Urgas Tower. And we kind of just... We're kind of just gonna cheat on this one. Uh, and fly our way up to the top. <laughs> and yeah. We're just going to cheat and not feel bad about this one bit. Uh, the Urgast is... Where is the gas spawner? Up here. We're just going to cheat here. Take this guy down. Hopefully take this guy down. Ooh, he is a little tanky. Uh, keep shooting stuff at me, pal. This is doing one damage a hit. This is also doing one damage a hit. Oh, you're so loud. Stop screaming at me. Are you going to shoot me again? Can you shoot me again? Let's back out and rethink this fight. I'll always come back and reset it. Let's rethink this. Re-up our shuriken and get better damage on this. Round two with this guy. I brought a lever. Oh my god, he is so monstrously loud. Let's just turn you all the way down, please. Okay. Turn my headphones down. So I brought a lever so that I could use these redstone contraptions. If I could find some of the little gaslings to kill. Other than that, it really is just smacking them with these and knocking his stuff back at them. Whoa, what re what healed you? Let's kill these. And then redstone signal that. There you go, that hurts them. There should be one over here. Are you charged up? No, you need more of the little guys. No, you're charged up. Step on it. That hurts them. There should be another one somewhere. Keep doing this. Step on it. Keep knocking these back at him. He's almost dead. He's almost done. Are you gonna freeze on me again, game? Don't crash. Uh oh! Don't don't kill me! Don't kill me! Gaslings! 
I need more gaslings. Oh! Kill these guys. Step on it. And he should die. There we go. Finally. Put these fires out. Don't want to lose any of my Kamenite. Where is that coming from? Go die. Ho, 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 ho. I need to change the key binding on that. Definitely. Keep dying. Okie dokie. Whew. Chest. Kamenite. Trophy. Fiery blood. Let's go. Okay. I will take that. And that. And that. What was that? Oh yeah, I need this boar essence. Yes, please give me. This is a recipe for uh, Kamenite. That's how you make Kamenite. Or Carmenite. Whatever you pro however you pronounce it. And you know what? These blocks of redstone. Expensive. I'm taking them. Give me all of these. This is like so much redstone. Don't care about the item frames. Just care about the redstone. Anything else I might want to pick up? Redstone. So I'm going to loot this place for all the carmonite and redstone that I can. And I'll bring you back. As I prepare to leave again. Okie dokie. I'm pretty certain. If I want to go fight the Snow Queen. I think I have to fight the Yeti first. Right? And look at this. We have a Yeti forest right beside. Our spawn. Where is the alpha? Bring me your liter Yetis. Let me murder him like I murder you. TNT Yeti, Winter Wolves. Die, please. Die, please. There should be an Alpha Yeti somewhere. Spawner, right there. Okay. Why can't I kill you? I killed the Urgast, so you should not be invincible. There we go. Oh, he's not that hard, though. It's just a matter of avoiding his nonsense. He's a lot harder when you have, you know, no flight and you're stuck on the ground. Give me the Yeti fur. There's some simple crystals I might want to mine up. Give me all my ammo, Yeti fur. All of my ammo back, please. And now we go looking for the Aurora Palace because I needed needed to kill him to get that. Ice bomb, Arctic fur. There should be an Aurora Palace attached to this biome. We'll look over here. Looky here. Well, everything was right beside my portal. I got really lucky. Look. Snow Queen might be a little bit harder than the Yeti, uh, so I need to be aware of that. And where can I break in to her tower? I don't think we can break these blocks very easily, can you? I like these Aurora blocks. Okay, let's... Vein mine out some ice. This is her. Oh, didn't want to do that. That was a mistake. So we just want to try to cheese her like we cheesed the other bosses. She's going to do her little slam. I remember you very well, Snow Queen. I've had to fight you many times. Where's your ice crystals? She normally spawns little crystal guys, right? The healer? Am I crazy? Oh, she is getting just absolutely wrecked. Come on. 
Stay right there. Yes. Stop running away from me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. A couple more. And she's down. Oh, thank goodness. The Twilight Forest is done. Basically. Basically. I still have to come in here to get a couple of things. But the major progression is over. Now, how did I break in here? Because I want to break out. I can't believe I tried doing this before I got uh, jetpacks. Because that was a little ridiculous. Maybe if I wanted to do like a, like a challenge series, I could consider. But not right now. That's the Abyssal Craft, Knight's Portal, and away we go back home! Wow, it feels so good to have that mostly done. So good. So if I check my quest book, I can claim these, which I never claimed. This, which I never claimed. I do have to go back and deal with the questing ramp. Uh, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but I need wool to do that. I don't have dyed wool. So why did we do all of that? I kind of forgot why we were doing all that. It was for Lordcraft, right? So if I look, jump down here, grab this. Uh, I need, what did I need? Roots. I need roots for that. So let's keep that going. Uh, we got a stack. Because I needed so much of this stupid ironwood. That's what I was... That's what I was having some problems with. Okay, I've got a bunch of ironwood on me. We don't have any more in this. But I have gold. I need iron. I've got more ironwood over here, I'm pretty certain. Right, I swear I had some. Yep. Take you out. And I need to go find my Carmenite. Uh, Carmenite. Do I have Steel Leaf? No. Do I have Carmenite? Yes. Grab that out. Grab some iron out. We want to do this a couple of times. Here, 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 here. That should give us 12 times 3, 36 more live iron wood, as long as I have enough rich slag to support it, which I currently don't. So I don't want to use all of this. 7, 8. I only want to use as much as I have slag for, because then I'm just losing one ingot, and it's just inefficient and bad. I need to set up another one of those just to make slag. Uh, steel leaf. I need to go get my steel leaf. Which is right here. Thank you. And now... Finally, we start looking through Lordcraft. Lordcraft is going to be such a pain. Because everything is gated behind this. I need it. I have mana infused dust. That's not a problem. I need my book of knowledge. And I need this. Wow, look at me. Look at me mostly prepared here. Throw in the sand, throw in that. That gives us slag. We're making this. I have some more rich goop over here, I'm pretty certain. Don't I? Yes. And we put it... Whoop! I turned off my hover mode. Whoops! Okay, alright. Now that I have a ton of the ironwood bricks, we go here. We take this, we take this. Get out our crafting bench. Put away our rack because we don't need it anymore. Crafting table. And we make inscription tiles. How many can I make? Only 12! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, because I need more than 12. Okay, so we worked through this last time. 
Transmutation is coming up. Do I need research to do the, the crafting table? I might not need research to do the crafting table. Let's try. So to do that crafting table, let's go at Lord. Find the arcane workbench. Man infused dust, a book, and a crafting table. I've got the extra book. I can make a crafting table. Oh, 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 oh. Let's turn back on my hover mode. I've got man infused dust here somewhere. That's crushed lapis. Mana. Ooh, I don't have mana infused dust. How do I make mana infused dust? Crystals, osmium, torch berries. Torch berries? Oh, I have torch berries. Not a lot. Crystal. I do have simple crystals. Somewhere down here. My torch, my infinity booster card, I don't want to lose that. I have torch berries over here as well. As soon as I can just find them. And my simple crystals, I'm pretty certain, are up along the top row. So grab that. That's not what I'm looking for. Torch berries, torch berries. Where are my torch berries? And I also need osmium dust, so I'll bring you back as soon as I make all of that stuff. Here we are, back with everything we need. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, my voice is going out. I've been recording all day. What am I looking for? Arcane workbench. Oh, please just give it to me. Ah, oh, yes. 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 Oh, the hard part of the mod pack begins. We can now start doing Lordcraft stuff. Oh boy, that doesn't seem like it would be the hard thing. But it definitely is the hard thing. I do have enough to do this. Did I research it in the book? Mm, Arcane Forge, I certainly did. Uh, I need a bucket of lava, which I have. I can certainly make. Oh, uh, my inventory is all full of crap again. I need iron, which I have. I don't need that gold. Get out of there. Get out of there. Can I find a furnace? I sure can. Let's make this arcane forge. Where are you? Requires a tier one crafting table. What? What? Arcane Forge. Arcane Forge. I can make it in the work. Woo. Okay, I can make it in the workbench. That's what I need. Uh, here. Man infused dust. Uh, oh, what else did I, I don't have the bucket of lava. Do you work like a crafting bench? You do. Oh, so good. Bucket of lava me, please. Yep. Move over here. Put you on the top. And iron ingots on the sides. I do have the research, and it gives it to me. That's another Lordcraft quest done. Nice. Leap. Come on, game. There we go. And throw this down. Boom. Right there. Right there. Ooh, look at you. Ooh. Lordcraft has begun. We have started Lordcraft. Grab this quest. Look at what's next in the book. Mana infused ingot. Do not or dictionary with each other. No. So, I need mana infused ingots, 
with a mana infused shard which come from two mana infused dust which comes from oh i can make it with redstone yes yes i do need however didn't i need a research for that didn't it say i needed a research for that am i crazy Arcane Forge. Arcane Forge. So if I just go grab some redstone. Now I am not a master at Lordcraft by any stretch of the imagination. So a lot of this is me flying on instinct. But if I go grab redstone and I do this. I need mana. Air mana, light mana. Oh, I'm light. What do I need for mana? The mana system works by using blocks known as a void interface. Oh, no. The siphon and the respective crystals. So if I look... Oh, I need to go here. No. No. Glowstone and simple crystals gives me four. Void interface. Mana infused. Electrotine. Night metal. Ugh. Night metal. I had to go back into the Twilight Forest for that. uh uh okay with that we're gonna call this an episode we got some good work done here we got quite a lot finished up here as if you like this episode please leave me a like it is super late as i record this so i am working very hard on these episodes as always this has been scg sheep and i will see you in the next episode goodbye